advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and I am continuing my mini-series for the Hero Realms, The Ruin of Thandar campaign. Uh, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What happened last time is I was uh, peacefully drinking at the, whatever, the Four Crowns, or whatever that stupid inn was called, Inn at the Four Rivers, um, when all of a sudden some dark, mysterious, like, smoke caused everyone to start fighting, and I had to... Uh, kind of put my foot down, gather as much of the giants and the the champions around me to beat the shit out of just the ruffians and the pieces of alcoholic shit. Um, and then uh, after beating everyone up and looking through the cloaks of who I believe to be starting this whole thing, uh, I ran off after them, and that's where we are now in Chapter 3, in, which is Encounter 2, The Chase. As you burst through the front door of the inn, you see some of the mysterious cloaked figures dragging a young man through the street. No! The man struggles, but a stiff blow to the head ends his resistance. Uh, well, he's dead now, so uh, there's no need to follow them. You suspect the magically induced bar fight was just a diversion to cover the abduction of this patron. You start to give chase, but at the first intersection, the cloaked figures split up and flee down the streets. The first group is led by a human male. The second seems to be following a large imp. You can't see which group has the young man. So I can choose to follow the human's group or follow the imp's group. And I'm going to choose to follow the human's group because I, that's who I seem to see who hit the person. So let's go ahead and do that. And I am fighting the ruinous zealot. He seems like he's going to be extremely annoying. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so set up the master's deck. Already did all that. He has 65 health, so let's go ahead and write that down. So ruinous zealot at 65. That doesn't seem fair. And then doesn't seem like he heals though, so that's pretty good. Um, okay. You race through the winding streets after the group. Once you're within shouting distance, you call out, Necros! Stand and fight! The leader stops and slowly turns towards you. He lowers his hood and spits. Necros. He shows you his jagged teeth. Uh, his, he holds out an arm and a small imp perches on his shoulder. The Necros are cowards. They see demons as power and power is all they seek. Uh, this is the guy who's saying that, by the way. So I don't know. I don't really trust anyone who sharpens his teeth to a point. And what do you seek, uh, you ask. He, his smile widens. Ruin. All right. Well, uh, when the counter ends, go to chapter six. So I'll set that off. What do I have in my hand? That's a pretty good hand. So I will take it. So he will start and he will do the ruinous ambusher elite. Put this mini in the master's area. Players, champions, enter play expended. Ugh, and he does green, so fanatics have uh, plus two uh, defense this turn. I don't think he's a fanatic. Uh, oh, he is. All right. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, God, that sucks. Well, I don't have any champions. Um, but I do have some money, and what could I purchase? Uh, I do... Okay, so... Let's do this. <laughs> um, enter play. Okay, so here's gonna be here. This is gonna be pretty good. So I will do my two ignites, just <laughs> and then start throwing them at the fanatic. Uh, then fire staff. Uh, if I have two more actions in play, I do. I draw a card. Okay, my cat familiar, which I will then bring in. And it comes in expended, so that's annoying. Oh man, and he has two more health this turn. Well, here's what I can do, and it's probably not smart. So I have, um, well, okay, so before I play him, before I play any of this, I can do my fireball again, uh, which will do four damage. You know what? Um, and to each of their champions, so you know what? Oh, and the elixir, by the way, that I got was my elixir of endurance, so I can just uh, sacrifice that to gain five health, so that's kind of perfect for me. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to just go ahead and... 
expend my fireball one more time, just immediately just cast two sparks and then just <laughs> fireball. So it's going to be four damage to him. I will spend two to kill this guy. Um, but it does say it hits the target player and all of them, so it is at 61. Um, so that's done. Then I can bring in my cat. So that's going to be... Then I will use my fire staff and my other ignite to hit him, so that will be three damage. So that will put him at 58. Yep. 58. And then... Um, it will be... So now I can do one, two, three, and then I will use my cat to actually get four. So I can get my cult priest and then some taxation. You know, a little, a little taxation never hurt anyone. Uh, and then we have an elven curse and then an intimidation. Okay, that'll work. That will work. So, hey, my silver skull amulet. That's That did come in handy. All right, so now my cat comes back. Here's my five. That's a bunch of gold. And now it is his turn. Probably not a smart move to use my fireball right off the bat. But escape. Uh, what is his favorite? Fanatics. Okay, I have plus two escape. If this master's deck has been reshuffled this encounter, the master escapes. Damn. Okay, well, it has not been reshuffled. And fanatics have plus two. Um, and he's not a fanatic. So that actually kind of worked, unfortunately. Um, and my hand does no damage, but my cat will come up and, uh, and scratch him. <laughs> I will just have my cat. Well, actually, do I want to do that? I can get, here's what I have. All right, so I have five gold, which will, if I have five, I can get wolf form, which is pretty good. And actually that would only cost four because that's an action. So four, so I could have six. You know what? Yep, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get wolf form, so it's only going to cost four, and then I will use my cat familiar for a gold instead to get intimidation. I mean, I guess wolf form would have her. Yeah, she's worth seven. And then wolf shaman. Ooh, I might get the wolf shaman next. That's going to be pretty good. So there's that, and now I have to shuffle. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. My cat familiar is still alive. I have to deal with this ruinous zealot quickly, otherwise he will just run off. And I really don't want that to happen, because that means I lose, <laughs> and whatever, I, I hope they have the boy. But why do they want to see ruin? Like, what's wrong with Thandar? Thandar's probably pretty cool. Like, we have, um, uh, we have bars that like to have, you know, the occasional fight, and then we have patrons that like to be unconscious. What's, the, what else is there? All right. So now, one, two, three, four, five, and hopefully it's the cards I just purchased. It's, okay, yeah, one of them is. All right, so now let's see what we got here. A mastery with a gold. Fanatics have plus two uh, damage this turn. Okay. Well, here's what's cool about what I have. I have Intimidation, which is going to give me five. And then I have my Cult Priest, which is going to be coming in to, uh, to to help out. Like, this cult, this cult priest is a little bit different than this ruinous zealot. These guys are like way too into whatever they believe. Whatever their ruin is, like these guys have just something. That, it's more of a club than really like than like a cult. Uh, it's just you know, very fine line. But these guys, the, the cult priest, this guy right here, right here, he thinks that these guys are weird, and that says a lot. But then once again, two ignites just. <laughs> at him and then I have my spell components so I will actually I have enough damage here to get so I will spend these two to give me two money and then so that will be well actually I only need to spend one because my spell components is gonna the next action I acquire costs one less so yeah man if I had one more I'd be able to get the wolf shaman but I think what I'll do is I will get this oven curse 
for two less. And then I'll have my cat come up and scratch him. So it's going to be one. That'll be ten damage, because my ignites, my intimidation is going to deal five. So six, seven, eight, nine, and my cat will deal ten. So that's going to be forty-eight. All right. And these guys will come, will come out. And then one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and they still only, they still need three masteries. So then the next one. Uh, Ruinous Vampire. Oh, this is annoying. So she's coming in. Um, so that is going to be a blue. Stun the highest champion among all players. So that'll be my cult priestess. My cult priest. And then the Ruinous Vampire is going to go. That's going to hit my cat for four. Hit me for two. That's going to put me at 48. And then heal him for four. Yeah, that sucks. So 52 is what he's at. All right. Well, and that sucks. That is a really, really shitty hand. I definitely am going to need to be drawn some. Um, so I have my taxation at two, three, four, five with my silver amulet. So I have seven. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. Seven. I can't. Oh, man. I don't think I'm going to be drawing anything that's going to deal four damage, but I'm going to have to try. Uh, so I will spend two and a health to draw. Nope. Fucking A. Alright, so he's probably going to be gaining all that health back, so one, two, three. Well, I'll just take two out, because I spent the two. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have six. That sucks dickhole. Well, I'm going to get the smash and grab then. Because why, why not? Ugh. I could get rid of my Silver Skull Amulet to draw a card. Fuck it. I'm going to. God fucking damn it. Ugh, what a waste. What a fucking waste. I should have waited, actually. One, two. Was it, was this even... Uh, yeah, my wolf form was at the bottom. That would have been the only thing. So, <sighs> that, that sucks. What a waste of a fucking card. Okay. Well, who knows what will happen. I mean, probably a, 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 uh, a gold card is going to be coming out to be able to heal him. Hmm. Man. What the hell is... I guess flip his card? Yeah, because he's going to be going up to 56. Oh, maybe I'll get maybe I'll get a solid hand. You never know. So there's three. Alright, so here's his next card. Mastery. Yep. Which is going to be gray. Or not gray, gold. So now this thing has six. Dealing... Healing him for... Four, so he's at 56, and then I take four, so I'm at 43. And it heal. okay. All right, all right. So, I have my wolf form, I have my fire staff, I have my cult priest, he's coming back, I have my cat familiar, he's coming back, and I have my ignite. So here's the good point. My fire staff is gonna allow me to draw a card. Wow, one gold. Okay, so, I apparently have a wolf form that I can turn into uh, while I'm also casting fireballs. So I'm going to have to do as much damage here as possible. So 8, 9, 10. <sighs> Is there anything there that I could? You know what? 8. I will send my cult priestess, so that'll be 2 gold. I just want to buy the wolf shaman. Um, and then my cat. So my cat's going to go out and attack. So that is going to be... Oh, and target opponent discards a card, so I will look at the top. Ooh, Clinging Imp. When you play a red card, stun this minion. Oh, well, I don't have most. So I will actually get rid of that. Uh, yeah. Okay, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4 of it is going to go there. Actually, sorry, 6 of it. And then 6 is going to him. So that knocks him back down to 50. And my Cold Priest and Cat Familiar. Um, this is actually a different cat. Uh, Sparkles is, uh, he's still at the bar. It was actually really the bar's cat. 
this cat right here is uh, the cult priestess. His actually his name is Charles. Like he's he's really just a normal guy. He just likes the club. Ignore the spider like tattoo that's on his face and what makes him look so weird. Uh, two, three, four, five. But yeah, and his cat uh, Lucky. So here's what we got as the master's turn. Wow, another mastery. I have minus one gold this turn, but that is going to level him up. And that will flip him. I guess he just kind of flips anyway, so... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, he's rough. He stuns um, two minions on blues. He f uh, So he'll, he flips back and forth, I guess. His red is... I have minus two gold this turn. And gold is fanatics have plus five. So he pretty much stalls the match out. Okay, well, that is not the worst thing. So now it is my turn. I have minus one gold this turn, so you know what? I'll just get rid of that gold, just to show that I don't have one. But I have my Ignite, and I have my Elven Curse, which target opponent discards a card. Uh, that's an Imp, so, but that's a, he'll flip back. I will actually let that stay on top. Uh, and then I have my taxation and then gold here. So I have six, seven, eight. One, two, three, three. The Miros, Miros Guild Mage. Three, four, five. No, no. Um, I, I mean, I could get that, but I think the death touch. So one, two. You know what? Actually, I'm going to buy the death touch here. Um, and then... See, let's reveal that before I flip, and that's a bribe, and then I will buy that recruit as well. So that's my three gold, and then, unfortunately, I, I'm not healing six, which would be pretty nice. But I have these two left that I could use. Oh no! Oh yeah, and my channel comes back. I could spend those two six, seven, eight. Nope, I'm gonna deal ten damage. Boom. 10 going straight to him. Let's knock him down to 40. Not even going to waste waste my time there. I got to start dishing out damage, causing curses and setting these people on fire before oh, there's five before things start happening. But he still only draws one card at a time. Yep, and then it was the clinging imp. So, he will flip. And when you play a uh when you play a, a red card, whatever that cult, I, I don't know what the red symbol means, um, stun that minion. So that's pretty cool. He just clings to him and is like, ruin. Which, of course, I don't have one in my hand. Um, but, and, yeah, okay. So now it is my turn. Aw, my, my sleeves are bending. Lame. So... Uh, I have these two. I still have all my... M Ooh, that is amazing. Okay, so I have two, three gold, and then... Ooh, this is actually... So, Intimidation, which is going to give me five, and then my Smash and Grab. You may put a card from your discard pile on top of your deck. What card do I want on my discard pile? Um, hmm... To ensure that I get it next turn, wolf form. That's going on top. Yep, so that's going on top of my deck. And then my intimidation and smashing grab gives me a blue, so I have one, two, three, I have four, I have five. Five. Um. Hmm. Yeah, the five. Oh, with the blue, you know what? Miros Guild Mage, you are going to be coming in handy. So let's do that. And then. I will, so 6, 11, 12, 13. So let's do 3 damage to the Clinging Imp. Just caught Intimidation, Smash and Grab. It's going to punch the Imp off him and deal 10 damage to the Zealot. Knocking him down to 30. Awesome. So that's happening. And then I will be drawing my Wolf Form. And... Cause that's pretty cool. Don't know what the smash and grab was. It was, I guess I don't have the ability. It's kind of just a, um, it's like an item, like that I have to, that I have to expend to turn into a wolf for like a second to just deal out a shit ton of damage. And then, uh, whenever I did the smash and grab, 
I actually found another one in someone else's house, ran in there, and took it. Because, you know, I gotta need it to be able to. To show that these are the bad guys, I have to break and enter into, into a neighboring neighboring house and steal their, their precious heirloom. Alright, so what's he doing? He has, like, no... Anyways, but I know if he draws that escape, he just takes off. But luckily, it's only if that... Basically, I have to make I have to beat him almost before that deck runs out. So, because luckily, he only draws one card. But I guess his Fnatic, like, because all the cards in there are going to be Fnatic. So he just, like, ensures. He just makes them tougher. All right. One, two, three, four. So now it's his turn. And boom. It is a ruinous vampire, and I have minus one gold this turn. Boom, he's going to hit me for four. Oh, no, he'll hit uh, my cult priest for four. And heal for four. That's putting him at 34. Luckily, it, this thing does not have higher health, so now it's my turn. Oh, this is a nasty fucking hand. Ooh, that could not have been a better hand. All right. Let's do this. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is going to be gross. You ready? You ready? So, I have my Mirror's Guild Mage, which I guess you guys can't see, which is unfortunate. But Mirror's Guild Mage, which is a champion, um, that will give me three. But then I have my Intimidation. So, there's five combat. Then my Wolf Form, which is eight combat. Target opponent discards a card. Uh, there's a Mastery with a blue... I will get rid of that because I don't want them to stun my champions. Okay. Then I have my Wolf Shaman, which is another familiar that's going to be coming in. Um, and that's going to be green, which is going to matter here. So then I play my Elven Curse, which is going to be six. Target opponent discards a card. That is a Ruinous Disciple. Uh, that's going to be red. Um, that's not that bad. This is going to deal three damage. So we'll keep that on there. Okay. So here's what's here's what's pretty fucking nifty. So the blues are gonna pe play off each other. So I have uh, four, ten, then my greens here. My elven curse and my wolf shaman are green, so that's gonna be three. So thirteen plus my wolf form is gonna be twenty one. Let's see if her and then my wolf shaman is two plus one for every other green I have. So she inherently is gonna be two, uh, three, four. Okay, so she's gonna be four. Okay, I already lost track of my math. All right. Basically, it's going to be four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, eight, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty. Thirty damage. Plus three, four, five, six. Six gold. And I will actually use my cat familiar to make it seven gold, because I want this vampire here. I want Krithos, the master vampire. All right, so, I'll try to do that. All right, so just to double check, it is five, nine, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, plus eight, 22, yep, 30, 30 damage, which I'll use four to get rid of that vampire. So that's going to be uh, 26 damage. So uh, that's going to put him to 8 health. He is very much almost dead. That's pretty amazing. That played off really, really well. And death threat. Oh, that's nice. I could also make him continue to discard cards, but yeah. And then I have my three familiars here. So that's pretty neat, not familiars, my three champions who came into this alley to help me beat up this weird looking guy. Alright, now it's his turn. And, oh yeah, Ruinous Disciple is going to be coming in. Um, it's red, so I have minus one gold this turn. And then, uh, this is going to go deal three damage to me. Oh, that actually comes in front of me, not him. Uh... So, yeah, so three damage to me. That'll put me at 40. Why is this one, like, a lot easier? <laughs> okay. So now it is my turn. And uh, she only has three health, so I have my... Do I have other actions? 
I do. Okay, awesome. So I will do my taxation to give me two gold and my ignite, which will give me two combat. Then my fire staff, in which I have two actions in play, I will draw a card. All right. I'm going to get rid of this gold to show that I have minus one gold this turn. Uh, so then it's going to be... Oh, I don't have any other blues. So that's going to be three, which will kill, uh, kill him. And then... I will not... Oh, man, he's so close to death. Okay, so these three are done. That killed the, the Ruinous Disciple. Then I'll have my Wolf Shaman. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight. And then I will grab these this Death Threat and then this Kraka High Priest. Uh, it's going to be for nine, but the next action I cost costs one less. So a Death Threat actually is two. So there's eight. And then I will deal two damage to, uh, to him. So that's going to put him at six. And then these guys all come in. Oh, actually, I wouldn't have taken three damage. Um, well, whatever. All right, so what do we got here? We have, ooh, the Man of Arms, and then the Dark Reward. So, one, two, three, four, five. So hopefully there's enough damage here. <laughs> Not much. All right, Ruinous Zealot. Yep, Ruinous Ambusher, Elite. Then, Player's Champions enter play expended. It's green, so he will flip that. Because I'm assuming that these things aren't flipping. No, okay. Yep. So now that's that's on his end. Oh, he has six. And then he will attack for three, which will get rid of my Miros Guildmates. That's really what should have happened. But, okay. Well, ooh, do I have enough damage to get rid of him? One, two, three. Oh, I don't think I do, unfortunately. Well, okay. So, I might have... Okay, so I'm gonna have enough gold, so I'm gonna play play two gold and then tap that to lose a health. So uh, that'll put me at 39. I'm like, that doesn't put me up at 49. So that'll put me at 39. And then I will draw a card. There we go, that's perfect. That's what I wanted. Okay. Oh, all right, yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. So then, let's do my smash and grab. It's gonna be six. Uh, then, my death touch, I may sacrifice a card in my hand or discard pile. I will sacrifice gold in my discard pile. So that's gonna be eight. Then, we will do nine, 10, 11. Um, yeah, so that was the two gold. So that will be 11 total. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to have to spend. So 11 total. And then, so six of that is going to go towards that. That will be, god damn it. That will be five uh, damage to him. He is at literally one health. And then I have my recruit, which is going to be two gold, three health on me, plus one for each champion I have in play. Uh, so five health. So that'll put me at... 44 so that feels nice i'll just flip that back up and there's no more uh so i have one two three i have three gold you know what let's get the men at arms uh i mean he is virtually dead at this point so there's one but you never know he could easily heal up um I've gotten a, I mean, that, that hand of 30 damage was just disgusting. So that's not really fair whenever all those people ganged up on him and we just raged and just incinerated his entire cult. Ow, I stabbed my thumb with the corner of these cards. And he is literally, he's, he's like, he's begging for death. And if there's no enemy that shows up, or uh, then I'll just have my cat kill him, which would be pretty, pretty funny. Well, actually, it's the cold priest. It's Charles's cat. 
Do I draw Charles? No. All right, so what's his card going to be? <laughs> Ruinous Vampire, damn it. Uh, and it has plus, ooh, plus five. That was that was his safety right there. Plus five. So it is going to come in. Ugh, it's this turn. So it will wipe my wolf shaman. And then heal him for four. So he's back up to five health. Um, that's actually coming in front of me. So, okay. Well, alright, so here, okay, so actually I don't think it's going to matter. So, it, the, the Ruinous Vampire is at nine. Uh, nine, nine total health. But, I have my Miros Guild Mage coming in. Then, my Smash and Grab again. And my Man at Arms. So, luckily they're not coming in expended. I may put a card from my discard pile on top of my deck. You know what? I will not right now. Actually, I will hold on to this real quick. Um, so I will use my Miros Guild Mage. This can be three. And my gold. So I will spend two and a life to channel to draw a card. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I would, I would do that. I would do my Smash and Grab to put my wolf form back on. And then I would draw, draw it. So then... I will put in my Wolf Shaman. So I'll put him over there near near him. Then my Ignite. So my blue for my Smash and Grab, and then my blue for my Mirror Skills. So that's going to be 10. Then Man at Arms is going to be 12, plus one for each other guard you have in play. Uh, there is one more, so 12, 13. Then my Wolf Shaman will be 14, 15. And then my Cat will be 16. And then my Ignite, so 16, so that should be 18 damage. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 damage. So then we will wipe this Ruinous Vampire for 9, and then we will hit him for 9, which will put him at negative 4. And there's your Ruin, motherfucker. Like, that. yeah, I mean, your body's in ruins. So yeah. Uh, the master did not escape. If you reduce health to zero, you win the encounter. All right. Your enemies lie defeated. Basically incinerated and blasted apart by a bunch of magic. And there's a few bodies that are just like weirdly like clawed up by a cat and a wolf. But the kidnapped young man is not with this group. Huh? You search the fallen followers for clues but find nothing save a few items that may prove useful. Then you hear a groan and realize one of your enemies is still conscious. Barely. He's someone all clawed up. You question him and learn three things. First, his group was once part of the Necros cult, but splintered off to form their own sect. They call themselves the Ruinos. Wow. <laughs> like a little on the nose there. Second, they were headed to a nearby cobbler's shop, which conceals an entrance to a series of caverns beneath Thandar. These caverns lead to a ceremonial space where the Ruinos gather. And they just, it's just this heavy metal band. They just like throw this, these like, Total, like, rad parties that just ruin the, the venue. Third, in a few hours, they intend to sacrifice the kidnapped young man to summon a demon. You have no time to lose. Each player finds a class treasure. Each player shuffles the remaining treasure cards from their class, draws one, and adds it to their pile. Then, each player earns a character point and may spend it to upgrade one of their skills or abilities or to buy an additional health card. Neat. So what, 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 uh, what thing do I get here? Let's hope it's something cool. It is, ooh, my blazing staff. It replaces the fire staff. Okay, so my fire staff no longer exists. Oh, all right. So my blazing staff now deals two more, two additional damage and it still has the two actions in play to draw a card. And then I have an action point um, that I can spend and it's like, do I want to do more health or one of my abilities? And of course, I want it to be one of my abilities. Because that's just going to be way, way better. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so we shall see what I pick next time. But that was Encounter 2, The Chase. So now I move on to the next encounter, uh, which would be Encounter 3, which is Chapter 7, The Ritual. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying this tiny mini series for Hero Realms, the Ruin of Thandar campaign. Um, stick around to see what the finale is going to bring. Uh, but other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.